Diddy was a whole different level. I was starstruck. I felt like Diddy's worker, not like one of his boys. You know what I mean? Without further ado, we have the barber of the stars, a guy that cuts guys' hairs like Ivan Kamara, Derek Henry, Lamar Jackson, Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey, Diddy. Hopefully, he wasn't Second the one that you know ever. cut Travis Kelsey's beard off, but uh, none other than uh, Patty Reagan. So, Patty, appreciate you uh, coming on the pod. What's up, boys? Thanks for having me, man. Yes, this sir. is great. Like, I was excited. Like, when I got the comment back, like, maybe we should have you on the show. I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. I love that. It's exciting. I love that. Let me just add to this intro, because guys, big shit, right? Best fades of the year, Barbican in uh, 2017. 2018, People's Choice Award at Barbican. Obviously, all the guys that you mentioned that he's cut, you know, we, we got to be humble over here. Hearing, like, the, the best fade of the year, me and Lipe are both fade guys, so, like, you know, it's, it's good to know. It's I don't, I don't got the kind of cash you need from me, though, but you know, maybe, no, no, maybe uh, one day. <laughs> not the cash or the clout, but speaking you know. of, uh, Patty, tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got into the business, and how we could kind of uh, get to know you better. So basically, um, I'm from Philly. I started cutting hair when I was like 12 years old, just in in my you know my parents' basement. I never thought it could be a career. I went to college, dropped out of college. I went to Temple, couldn't make it through, and then I just fell back on barbering. Went to barber school down here in Florida, and still wasn't doing that great. And then all of a sudden, like Instagram popped up. And I just started posting my pictures, started taking off a little bit. And then like I started seeing professional athletes train down here in Florida. And I was like, no, I'm going to start messaging these guys. And I messaged Darrell Rivas. Never thought he would answer back. He answered me back like the next hour. He was like, yeah, do you do house cuts? And I was like, yeah. And the next day I went and cut him. The day after that, I got all the guys that he trained with. So he just kind of put me on everyone else. From there, it was just like all word of mouth. You had to be nervous for that first cut though. Because like you said, he yeah. Yeah, he brought, you, he brought you out to all the other guys, but if you fuck that cut up, <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't coming out, bro. I was nervous just to be in the presence of Revis. You know, I was nervous. You know, he's yeah. one of the best players of all time. So um, it sick. just went from like zero to 100 real quick. Jesus. I was, you know, from cutting nobody to cutting Revis. Was that sort of the moment that you realized like, oh, shit, like I can make a career out of this? Or was there like a moment before it? There was, I got on with the Clipper company like a year before that. So I'm sponsored by a, a hair clipper company. That was probably when I was like, I can make it in the haircutting world, but to do what I actually want to do was was that moment. It's just cut athletes, you know. I fly out every week to Kansas City to cut Trav, and then I cut oh. Juju. You're still cutting Travis's hair this season? Yeah, every Friday That's I go. That's awesome. Yep. How big were you before you cut Revis? Like, how big were you on socials? I don't go as hard on social media before, but I, like when I was building, I was posting every day. So I had like right before Revis, I had like eighty thousand followers. Oh, so Jesus, I was, That's a lot. You're a dog. Just man. eighty thousand. Yeah, you're that's like a 80. Lot. That's a shit ton. You know, I was up there, but I wasn't, I just like wasn't doing what I wanted to do. Right. You know? What's one of the coolest opportunities from cutting athletes' hair that you've been able to experience? I went with Lamar Jackson to Kansas City, actually, for these NFL awards after the season. Mm. Wow. That was his MVP Sick. year, so that that's was wow. actually that's really that's Are they giving you the inside scoop? You know, when you're in a barbershop, you're talking a lot of, a lot of shit, talking about your life, whatever it is. Are you getting the inside scoop on the NFL? Yeah, there is a few. I knew Bradley Chubb was going to Miami like two weeks before that even happened. No way. Adam, Adam's, Adam's um, a Dolphins so, fan. So Adam, just like it. stuff like that. Just like being around guys and hearing like gossip and stuff. You just said hanging around athletes and getting to know stuff. I think I'm curious and I've always wanted to know like what's the biggest misconception us as fans have around athletes, right? Like we see them portrayed in a certain light in the media, but being with them almost on a daily basis, what's like the biggest misconception that you can debunk? I mean, it's kind of like the cliche thing, but they they really are just regular people. I see them in a way where they're not these like huge stars. Like if they walk into a room, they're just like regular like guys like you see they have struggles you know that you they have different issues now i see them like on tv and i'm just like i used to look up these guys they used to be on my wall you know what i mean who was the athlete that was probably like it was a big deal that like you knew or not up that fade it was it was <laughs> well no the real revis was make or break yeah that's true that's true, but, that's true. But, for michael thomas though for sure when he was in his prime, you know, I don't work with him anymore. Uh, you guys could probably figure out why. When I got Mike, that was like pretty big because that's when he was breaking all the records. Mm -hmm. and yeah. What's the, how, like, that's when you know you've gotten so big when you're like, don't get me wrong, Michael Thomas is huge, but like Diddy is just like, yeah, it's just, he's just Diddy. Yeah, you that's, know? Diddy was a whole different level. I was starstruck when I met Diddy. I'm so sure. that, was, that was like a whole different, like I felt like Diddy's worker, not like one of his boys. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 I could see like, that. Like I was I just could... another guy in the room. He'd be like, 
like, where's the barber? Where's the barber? You know, <laughs> how did you get Diddy in, in the mix? And are there other rappers and just like musicians and other areas that you're doing as well? My little niche is uh, NFL and UFC. I have cut like NBA, you know, rappers, a couple baseball players. Which baseball players? I'm just curious. A few guys from the Marlins used to come in the shop. So if you were to make a fantasy lineup, of players that you have cut their hair, who would be in those positions? I would have Lamar. I would have Derrick Henry. It's kind of debatable putting in Alvin right now, but Alvin, Stefan Diggs. Oh. Michael Thomas will count it. I know he's not great anymore, but like, come on. We'll, we'll put Mike in there. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty Mike. solid. We obviously got Travis tight end. The goat, and then okay. Flex the goat would be tough. Good go. Probably James Conner. When Travis Kelsey shaved his beard, that was one of the uh, most horrifying things I've seen in a long time. <laughs> the I mean, were like, wild. God, he grew it back please tell me you didn't advise him to do that or shave it because that's just tough so i was actually on tmz for that they like <laughs> called me right no. away we started it because each of the players was gonna uh do a mustache for andy reed and like walk oh. into practice with the mustache so we shaved it all off with the mustache Ooh. and then one day like i wasn't out there he just took the mustache off himself the mustache is fine i love a nice stash you didn't advise him to shave the stash so i can't blame <laughs> obviously you've cut so many guys but like who's one athlete that you'd want to cut or one you know celebrity i guess we'll open it up to anyone that you'd want to cut or have the opportunity to cut and, and chop it up with it's not a question it would be conor mcgregor i would love i would love oh, to cut wow. his hair hey connor hey connor <laughs> we got it's patty what are we doing here i mean <laughs> let him let him cut it up disagree with our takes let us know in the comments remember to like subscribe and go check out patty underscore cuts on instagram the guy is an absolute legend and cuts every single athlete known to man so go check him out